And our final, and our final witness on the first panel will be Rob Topolsky. Who is the uh, who is a software quality engineer and who was actually responsible for uh, some of his actions around covering what led to the uh, uh, AP investigation? So if you can, uh, I'm sure you'll be sharing those thoughts and, and that story with us. Thank you for inviting me to speak to this panel. For the past 25 years, I've been involved in networking protocols, and I owe some of my um, history to a. a to a partnership between the FCC and private citizens that created a, a, an amateur radio hobby, which led to my career in technology. Uh, worked on projects ranging from amateur radio packet bulletin board systems to uh, the one of the first commercial ports of the NCSA browser to um, scalable data center servers. And over the years, as a quality uh, and testing engineer, I've been responsible for making sure that these products um, meet with certain technical uh, standards. Another barbershop, or another uh, hobby of mine is barbershop harmony. Um, in the Pacific Northwest, uh, we like to stay dry, and nine months out of the year it's raining, so I needed an indoor hobby. Peer-to-peer um, -peer is a great medium for introducing new music to other people, and I was kind of trying to use it to introduce old music to other people and, and show some of the uh, style and and uh, wonderful things available in Barbershop Harmony. Over the years, I've collected wonderful samples of uh, um, wax cylinder recordings and printed music that uh, are in that style, and I wanted to use the peer-to-peer -peer networks to share them, and I found that I couldn't use the Nutella network, um, that uh, no requests were coming through, and of course, this was an interesting project for me because I was able to use my networking skills um, using packet tracing and end-to-end -end comparisons between uh, Comcast and uh, non-Comcast connections, uh, I concluded that TCP reset flags were responsible for tearing down these established and working connections, um, and that this only occurred when the communication was happening on the Comcast network, and only, uh, or not an only, but it, it occurred on the three top peer-to-peer -peer protocols, and I've heard from others that occurred on other peer-to-peer -peer protocols as well. Investigating this further, um, I found that this was a technique that was nearly universally despised. As somebody mentioned earlier, it's the Great Firewall of China technique um, by tearing down established uh, connections using these reset packets. Um, in the ITF, the ITF has published a, a best current practices paper that talks about um, abusing the TCP reset for network management purposes, um, and that's BCP, or best current practice number 60, if you want to look that one up. As technologists do, I posted publicly about my findings, um, having been unable to find any information on Comcast about why their network behaves this way. Their support people didn't know. Um, my findings were independently verified later, and it became an AP story and, and uh, is probably the igniter of these hearings today. Uh, the impact of this behavior is striking both at the uh, ability for developers to develop for the internet and for consumers to buy with confidence. At the February hearing, David Reed told you, and I'm going to quote him, providing internet access implies adherence to a set of standard technical protocols and technical practices that are essential for the worldwide internet to work for all users. And I'm here to tell you from those perspectives that the entire internet community counts on that fact. I have to know as a developer that the web browser uh, application that I'm working on in Santa Monica, California, is going to work on an ISP in Africa without me having to travel to Africa to find out. I have to know that when I go to Best Buy and pick up a sling box, that it's going to work on my uh, ISP here in, or there in Hillsboro, Oregon, or on my wireless network, which uh, um, has wireless internet offered. The word internet, therefore, means something very important, and it makes it easy for us to develop and easy for us to choose what products that uh, we're going to use. Consumers in the internet community, therefore, were harmed when Comcast decided that uh, it was going to do something secretive and non-standard um, and sell high-speed internet but only to the people and the protocols that they preferred. 
uh, they got the consumers that wanted to upload and share data obviously got significantly less product than they contracted for and paid for. Uh, and the developers were also harmed because they're getting these user reports in and they can't reproduce it on their networks. The situation continues today and I want to emphasize that. It has not stopped. It's happening right now despite all of the um, wonderful headlines about BitTorrent and, and uh, Comcast coming to an agreement. The behavior hasn't stopped. Um, using reset flags uh, is in reasonable network management is absolutely um, uh, not a part of reasonable network management. It's, it's non-standard and uh, has not been accepted by anyone in the standards community. Um, I also want to say that Comcast interference occurs 24 hours a day. So unless the network is congested 24 hours a day, then Comcast statements that they rarely use this practice only in times of congestion, uh, congestion does not match the testing. I'm a ham radio operator, like I said, and I see this pretty simply as a example of jamming of authorized communications. The FCC is excellent at handling those kinds of complaints. As a licensee, if I come to you and say I have I'm transmitting within my mode, within my band, and somebody unlicensed, unapproved is jamming my signals. The FCC Enforcement Bureau makes it a matter of pride to get that stopped quickly. This is no different. And I ask that before you leave today, you signal your, your intent to stop the interference today. We can settle out these other issues and have more hearings, but the interference can't be happening. It's still impacting users, it's still impacting developers, and, and is not standard or authorized. <laughs> Commissioner McDowell, I'd like you to, to ask me more questions about Comcast and Pando. You brought it up. Should private sector agreements be part of network management? Um, and. Uh, I think that's a, that's a fair question. Um, but first, we can't forget that Comcast already made private sector agreements with its users. And it can't usurp those and then later claim um, some kind of defense by saying, look, we're making these other agreements. Um, most importantly, the FCC needs to prepare. This all happened because something called deep packet inspection was invented. And deep packet inspection means that we are looking past that envelope that uh, Dr. Reed talked about last time and looking into the contents and then making decisions on how we're going, how the network is going to treat that packet, not based on the customer's instructions, but on the content itself. Sometimes this is good. This could help in law enforcement surveillance and, and executing of, of authorized warrants uh, in order to catch criminals and uh, exploiters and people that are uh, using child porn. But it's also dangerous because there's no way for the user to detect that this is going on on the network. The user has to know ahead of time and opt in and say, yes, this is a feature I want to protect my family or to, you know, but not have it used against me for some marketing purposes or to slow down my communications. I'm over my time. Thank you very much. Thank you. We, we are, uh, we're all over, uh, we're all over our time a little bit, but I know that all the, can this, this is working? we're all over our time a little bit, but I know that all the commissioners probably will want to ask a, f a few questions if we could. I, uh, I do have a comment first, and I actually want to, um, uh, but we we'll take one moment and actually thank uh, Rob for your role as just being an average citizen and your persistence in being able to try to find out what was going on. Uh, 